AK Spartan Killer Adventures in Minecraft Yo 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 people what is going on this is Kat again and um Zach has been hacked <laughs> I've taken over Zach's um video for this morning and I hope you guys enjoy we are going to be doing another design um little a little design space for you guys and if you can't tell, I am on the server, as you can see, a few people are chatting here. I decided to do something a little bit different, and uh, normally I close up the server. I decided to keep a few of our our regulars on, just so they can enjoy this as well. Uh, I felt, why well, kick off a few people when I'm just going to be doing a quick design for you guys? So, um, oh, I should have showed you guys this place. I kind of just walked in and started talking. How rude of me. Alrighty. So this is, um, if you haven't been here before, this is the um, condos I've built but kind of abandoned. And the reason they got abandoned was because, um, well, because I got busy doing other things on the server, I guess. I haven't had really a lot of time to sort of work on them. So I'll give you kind of a roundhouse view. Um, there is no windows there yet and that's because I wait to do the windows until I'm doing the interiors. Um, the enclosed uh, balconies and some stuff like that so they're really big actually um, and the reason I'm doing a video on them today is because I'm sure a lot of you guys when you live on a server um, you probably live with somebody most of the time or you live in an apartment so I have done a lot of small space design before for you guys like small houses but I decided we're gonna jump into condos and dealing with one floor spaces and how to plan them out a little bit so here I've started doing one for you. I haven't really worked on the entrance, but um, as you can see, I have a very open concept kitchen with some lighting there. It makes it a little easier to get through. Um, we'll walk around here. You have your living room with some windows, a nice big TV. You got some zombies. <laughs> um, over here we have the bedroom and dressers and stuff like that. So. You've seen me build some of this stuff before, if not all of it before. Um, again, it's no big change. Um, out here it's nice because you have um, your zombie neighbor who is visiting and um, an enclosed patio. So we've made this so they can make it into whatever space they want. So, so yeah. Um, I usually don't do a lot of designing for other people's houses when I'm building people's houses on the server because it just ends up being... Like, it's their space, and I kind of want them to be able to create their own space, so. Oh, let's clear this up a little bit. Okay, so we're going to start with a fresh room here. Get out all this stuff. Da, 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 da. So this is how the room started before I even touched them. And I don't even think this one is done. <laughs> no, look at this. I haven't even finished this flooring here. Look at this slack job I'm doing. Alright, so I'm not going to bother finishing the outside patio because... Uh, I really don't need to. I'm not really going to show you guys that. I'm going to show you guys the inside. So, let's start with figuring out the space. So, you have your two windows here, and you can add a few more windows. So, let's go ahead and add a few more windows here. What do I have? Three wide windows. Let's keep that up here. Let's maintain that look, and we're going to use some world edit for this, of course. Of course, of course. It makes time go by so much faster when you world edit things. <laughs> Alrighty, look at the view from these windows. <laughs> Alright, so we've added a little bit more space. Well, not space, but we've added a little bit more um, natural light into the space, and that's always good. So, whenever you're building a space, if you're in an apartment that you're renting from someone, ask them and make sure you can open up some windows because it's really neat, especially when you live on one floor. So we have all our natural lighting, and now with our natural lighting, we need to figure out where we are going to place our um, our walls. Because as soon as you start adding walls, they start closing up the space. And you got to keep that in mind, because your natural light, especially in Minecraft, is important because you don't want zombies. So you don't really need a big bedroom in um, this like condo kind of style place. So we're not going to make a big bedroom. We're actually going to just take this um, little wall here we're gonna cut it in half now of course there's four there so we're just gonna pretend this is half because it's 
that you can't really cut it in a perfect half. And because, look at this shape of the wall that we have here where it's kind of rounded out, we're actually gonna copy that same shape here. And so that's just called repetition of the space. So whenever you repeat things in space, it makes the room more harmonious, if that makes sense to you. In other words, in basic terms, it it's complementing to your eye and your eye actually like approves of that. So our brain and our eye functions are actually, um, they're already kind of planned out. Like they know what they like and they know what they don't like and all that fun stuff. So as soon as you try to um, mess with that and kind of um, upset your eyes or your mind, then you get upsetting thoughts and all that stuff or you don't like a space. So for example, when you see a space and you're like, oh, I hate it. The reason you hate it is not because you just generally hate it. You hate it because it's something that's not appeasing to the eye. Like the smell of skunk is usually not appeasing to someone's nose. It's something in your brain telling you that something's not right or a strong signal, right? So that's kind of what design is all about. So this is going to be our bedroom. Oh, I ran into a wall. Apparently I can't walk today. So we've repeated the angles of the space. So these ones are a little wide, but we've cut them short here, but we're still repeating them, which is kind of nice, okay? And um, over here will be our living room because we have some nice wall space to use for some units and stuff. And um, we're gonna get some good flow going on by having our kitchen um, over here somewhere. So why did I put my door here? I don't know, that was a terrible design flaw. Do not put the door there, that's terrible. We're actually gonna sneak the door in the side here. And the reason we're gonna do that is because easy access between all the spaces and it's not gonna be in the way of any of the spaces um, functions, if that makes sense. So we're gonna move right into the kitchen here so we can cut down on some time. We'll just quickly go through this. I'm doing double headed cabinets up top. I don't like, sometimes I like doing one block for cabinets, most of the time I like two. Kind of just looks more complete when it's that way. And instead of doing like a U-shaped kitchen, which I usually do, I'm going to still keep it open, but I'm going to have the little island breakfast bar. And it's going to look like a U-shape, but it's actually going to be just a straight open kitchen. Which is kind of nice and easy. Ah! I'm a genius and forgot my fridge and all that fun stuff. <laughs> which um, on other videos I've shown you guys how to do kitchens like a billion times um, like several different ways I know some of them haven't been released yet but I have done them the videos are there they're just not up so you haven't seen them yet um, but so I'm not gonna just re-record it that's silly and I'll finish this kitchen another time because I'm running short on time I don't need to do that right now <laughs> So then we're going to do, again, like the other room that you saw, we're going to do a little wall unit going on here. And what I did was I made a TV. This one's going to have a TV and a bookcase, kind of all in one, just to kind of make it look so pretty. We'll close off the corners, make it a closed case. And we're going to make a TV. So how you make a TV, I don't know if I've shown you guys this before, black wool makes a great TV. Surprisingly, right? <laughs> So we have our TV and then we're going to add our little bookshelves on the side so it kind of looks more like an entertainment unit than just some random black box full of wool. And we're going to add buttons to our TV. Even though they don't work, they'll still look cool and I'm sure you've seen this before as well, but I figured I'll show you again. So that's our little entertainment system right there and we'll add some chairs. I wish they had really cool like because I always use, of course, if you have seen my videos before, I always am using um, wood blocks as, as furniture. And I think everyone kind of does that, that uses Minecraft stuff. I like Minecraft um, stairs as furniture and stuff. But I wish they actually had a really cool, like, um, like a chair. Like, I wish in the update, because the update just came out, right? I wish they had a chair in there. So, I haven't updated yet because our server isn't updated. So I figured, eh, there we go. So that's our little living room. So I'm running out of time, so I'm just gonna quickly go over this. So that's our living room. Bedroom will be in here. You can design them any way I've shown you guys bedrooms. 
kitchen right across from the kitchen if you want you can have like a little dining room area here which would look really cute or oopsies oopsies didn't want to do that so yeah dining room I guess would be cute here because it's across from the kitchen and then what else do you build what else other spaces can you build you can build kind of like a little um entryway like a hallway entryway kind of thing so um that again is going to be another unit um we'll just build a little quick one here do oopsies actually let's not use the light blocks because i like the little um see they need to make the wooden slabs in all the different colors of wood that they have now too <laughs> They just need so many more Minecraft pieces. That's all I gotta say. So what you're gonna do is, oh yeah, I can't place chests. So this is gonna be your chest and I'll just create it here. There we go. And you're gonna need some stuff going on right here. And there you, now you have like a little wall unit kind of area or like uh, open storage space, which is nice. A lot of people have them for like boots and stuff in their real house, but this is a Minecraft house. <laughs> so you can add some of that, I guess, at the front door. It's nice to have a little storage bin actually in Minecraft at the front door because then you have um, something for all your quick grabbing things. So when you go, oh, I forgot this in the house, you can, maybe you keep some of your picks and axes there that you just use for, I don't know, so for everyday use or whatever. <laughs> Alright, and we already have our first visitor. Hey, Mr. Creeper. You can also have, um, what I have here is like a little bench, um, with some tabling here. Just some extra stuff you can build. Um, maybe you want to build, uh, like some plants. Get some plants going on in here. Because I don't think I ever put a lot of plants in my houses, and I feel bad for not doing that, because maybe I should be more environmentally cautious right so to do that and have oopsies to do that and have the actual leaves stay you need to use a piece of tree bark sorry late you're gonna have to leave yeah so there we go we have a little front entrance way as a backup into walls I'm running into a lot of walls today for some reason <laughs> So you have your entrance up there. Let's add some lights up at the top, actually. Because we need some light in here. And then we have our little green plants, which you can extend the kitchen. I would extend the kitchen. I just, I'm running out of time, so I'm not going to extend the kitchen. Extend the kitchen over here. Create some more in the living room. Put up some pictures and posters and stuff. And you have all your spaces covered. A dining room, a kitchen, a living room, a bedroom. And even a front entry, like, little mud way, right? So you've kind of got everything covered in a little condo, which is cool. And then you have all this extra space outside. So I know this is a big condo, and I should do an apartment next for you guys. So maybe I'll do one of those. And maybe I'll also do a video on um, making these condos, these same size condos, into a two-bedroom condo. And I'll show you guys how to do that in another video. But we are out of time and over time. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below on whatever you are thinking. And we will see you guys next time. And I hope we'll see Zach a little bit later today. Alright? Take care, guys. Bye!